we feed according to the recommendations. In the most, most severe cases or where there is an emergency, where there is no mother, where the mother has died, you can give formula. And then about beauty, beauty is like a flower, it does fade, whether you breastfeed or you don't breastfeed. So you are better off breastfeeding. The <laughs> breast, just like the whole body, it loses elasticity as you grow older. Thank you, Grace. The lady in front here. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this whole issue of breastfeeding to me sounds like a lot of work. What can be done so that mothers do not get too tired? Yeah, thank you very much. That's a very interesting question. Uh, breastfeeding for sure, as you have said, it requires actually support. It's a lot of work and how do we support this breastfeeding mother? Uh, we are saying that we need support from the spouse. We need support from the family members. How do they support? There are a lot of uh, chores, house chores at home that the mother is supposed to attend to, as well as breastfeeding the baby. So if you have a spouse who could help out in some of the, uh, some of the chores that you do have at home, that will give a mother, a breastfeeding mother, a lot of time to breastfeed. The other thing that we should do is to look at the nutrition of this mother, the breastfeeding mother. If this mother is starved, you find that she won't have enough energy to do the breastfeeding. So hence the need, we are encouraging the fathers, the spouses, to provide enough food for this breastfeeding mother to eat so that as she uh, breastfeeds their baby, or the twins, or the triplets, she will have the energy to do the breastfeeding. The gentleman in front, please go ahead with your question. Thank you. I have a friend who had real difficulties in breastfeeding her baby and uh, developed sores on the nipple. When, uh, why did that happen? And if it happens, does she have to stop breastfeeding the baby? Uh, what usually happens is that if you are inexperienced in attaching and positioning your baby to the breast, you find that most of the young mothers, they only put the nipple, just the tip of the nipple inside the baby's mouth. That is not supposed to be the case. When you are breastfeeding your baby, to position your baby correctly, you are supposed to put the entire or at least most of the areola. The areola is the black part of the breast. Put at least most of it in the mouth. The baby's mouth should be wide open to grasp most part of the areola. And the baby should be positioned in such a way that they are not pulling or tugging on the nipple. But if you position your baby incorrectly or you attach the baby incorrectly to the nipple, they will be pulling on the nipple and the nipple will get dry and cracked. So you find that most of the inexperienced mothers who have cracked nipples, that is usually very, very painful. Very importantly, the baby should not stop breastfeeding. There is another breast that is not cracked. But from the breast that is cracked, ensure that there is continuity in the production of milk as well as you don't have to let the breast be so. The more the milk is stored in the breast, the more engorged it will be. It will be tender and it will bring fever on the mother. And eventually the milk will stop being produced. So you don't want that to happen. What you have to do is that as you put the baby on the breast that is not affected, ensure that even the breast that is affected is being emptied frequently, and then you can just uh, throw away the milk. The lady in front here now. Good 
Well, Cleopatra, as for me, I was told that if a woman goes away from her baby for a few days without breastfeeding, that the milk goes sour. How true is that? That's a very interesting question. The milk does not go bad. It's, it's, it's okay. You can breastfeed the baby. For instance, if you go for work, there are people who go for work for eight hours, and they come back and find their children at home. They need to continue breast, uh, breastfeeding. That milk hasn't gone bad. So we are still emphasizing that you need to continue breastfeeding. The lady in green, please go ahead with your question. Thank you. What about when the mother becomes pregnant and she is breastfeeding? Does the milk go bad and does she have to stop? I think that's very interesting. What happens when you get pregnant whilst you're breastfeeding? Okay, uh, this is one of uh, the beliefs that we have, the myths that we have where a pregnant woman actually is uh, not encouraged to breastfeed when you are expecting. We are saying this is not correct. You can breastfeed when you are pregnant. What happens is that when you are pregnant, you should breastfeed up to about seven months. Then just to give yourself the energy to come and breastfeed the baby that you are expecting to be born. Because you are uh, pregnant and you have this other baby that you are breastfeeding, again we have to look at your, uh, the mother's nutrition. You need to give a lot of food to this mother so that she will be able to breastfeed as well as to carry the pregnancy. So we are saying we need actually to introduce the family meals uh, gradually. Ida and Grace, thank you so much for making an appearance on Your Health Matters Let's Talk. We've really learned a lot on the information that you gave us on breastfeeding. Audience, did you enjoy the program? Yes. Thank you so much for your participation. Well, viewers at home, this is it. That's the program, Your Health Matters Let's Talk. Until next month at the same time. Bye-bye. God bless you. program is brought to you by the Ministry of Health with support from the United States Agency for International Development and its Communication Support for Health Project.